What's going on guys? It's Jace here and today we have another Madden Ultimate Team um draft champions draft and gameplay. And um right off the bat we have the coach round like always and um we're just gonna go with Jason Garrett. Pretty nice coach. I believe it was a 4-3, and I do like 4-3 defenses. And um, we're starting off with an elite team of the week, Charles Woods. And I think I have to go with him because Jerry Spur did not play too well with me when I had him in Ultimate Team. Um, I've tried a lot of players in Ultimate Team. And um, I might have to pick up this Charles Woodson. I don't know. But um, then we get a Fred Jackson, Pierre Garçon, and Brandon Albert. Um, I don't know. I, I think I'm going to go with Brandon Albert. Beef, beef up my O-line. Um, you know, you guys know that, that I love beefing up my O-line. Right here, um, we don't really need Raheem Moore. And Vontez Perfect is a little slow for me. So, I think we're going to go with Brandon Marshall. A good um, linebacker to use her with. So, that's pretty good. And then, um, next up, we have Jerry Hughes. And um, something Mingo. Can't really read it from here. And then... Um, uh, Casey Hayward, I believe that's how you say his name. Uh, we're just going to go with um, Jerry Hughes, though. Jerry Hughes, pretty pretty good card. Um, right here. This is kind of a tough choice. D'Angelo Williams versus Ryan Tannehill. I think I have to go with Ryan Tannehill, though. Because um, I really do like him in Madden. And, um, yeah, I just really like his card. Um, right here, this is actually a pretty tough choice. Um, I really wanted to go with uh, Travis Kelsey or... The um, center, center pouncy, but um, I kind of needed a wide receiver, so I went out and got Randall Cobb. Definitely really elusive, really nice, and um, we're going to go with a budget beast, Ronald Leary. And then um, this one was a pretty easy choice, um, Brian Beluga. I hate Cam Newton, and we already have Ryan Tannehill, and I don't really need too much more wide receiver depth than Randall Cobb, so we're just going to hold off on Golden Tate. And, and get Brian Beluga, pretty nice right tackle, pretty nice, I believe he's more of a run block guy, and, um, and here's a guy that we could, um, run with, LeGarrette Blount, we do need a halfback right now, um, I don't know, we might go with Corey Lindsley, um, pretty nice card, last, last year is all pro, or all rookie card was pretty nice, but we're gonna go with LeGarrette Blount, um, and, um, I don't really like LeGarrette Blount too much, but, um, as we get Jeremy Hill, uh, that kind of sucks, but we do need a cornerback, so we're going to get um, Cromartie. And then right here, we get an elite round, already have a quarterback, already really have a halfback. So we're going to go with A.J. Green, um, and A.J. Green and Randall Cobb, two great receivers. So I think we're good with um, with a wide receiver. We're going to go with Jason McCourty here. Don't really n need a strong safety, we sort of do, but not really. Um, we don't really need Farnell McPhee, so we're just going to get another cornerback in Jason McCourty. And then, of course, Prince of Mukamara. Okay, um, we're just going to go with Mency. Um, I would probably go with Prince of Mukamara if I did get, um, if I did get that strong safety Me Mency? Mency? I believe that's what his name is. I kind of forgot. But, um, yeah, we're going to go with Mency here and probably just put, like, Jared Hughes at the left-end position because I believe that's where he used to play. Um, right here we have Linval Joseph, um, shout out to IMAV, and, um, yeah, we're just gonna go with Bruce Irvin, though, pretty nice card, and then we go into the, um, legend round, you guys already saw some Andre Reid gameplay, we're gonna go with the new, um, new legend, Leroy Glover, and, um, yeah, so our team is pretty good, I believe it's, once it makes some changes, it's gonna be probably an 81 overall, um, so let's just take a look at our team, then we'll get into the gameplay, um, yeah, I do like my team, though. My team, um, definitely all around pretty nice. We, we could run the ball. We could, um, throw the ball, too. We could definitely throw the ball. We're probably going to throw the ball mostly, um, probably to AJ Green or Randall Cobb. And then, um, if we need those, if we need, like, a quick little three yards, the Garrett Blunt can definitely get there. He's very strong back, very, um, trucking. Yeah, I was looking for a new, um, fullback. Maybe this, um battle guy because um he's actually has more speed better carrying and i believe more um yeah we're just gonna put him at fullback i think he was already there maybe now we'll take a look at our defense oh, man our d who our d line's gonna be really nice we're gonna take jerry hughes out of the um outside linebacker position we're gonna put actually um i believe there's someone there's a good silver right outside linebacker um it's not woodley um where is he yeah malcolm smith 80 89 speed 
I really like 89 speed guys. I really like, just like speed guys. And then we're going to put um, Jerry Hughes at the, at the left-hand position. Because um, I think that's where he played last year. I'm pretty sure. I think he played an end last year. I could just say that. Um, so, yeah, our team is pretty nice. We're just going to go into the gameplay. And, um, yeah. Okay, so we're into the gameplay. Um, his team is on the right. Ty Law, Khalil Mack. And Travis Frederick. Damn, that Khalil Mack. Okay, so we have the ball here. We're running it just straight up the middle with um, LeGarrette Blunt. Not getting too many yards, though. Um, only getting, like, four yards. And right here, we're going to go to our tight end right here. And um, he actually is way open in there. Uh, he actually probably accidentally dives. I don't know. But we're definitely going all the way here. We're celebrating from the 20 just to piss him off even more. And, um, yeah, you know, I love pissing off people. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we are um, we are just using our linebacker like we always do. And um, I believe that was Leroy Glover or Jerry Hughes who got that sack. And um, right here, I'm just using with Jerry Hughes for some reason. I don't know what I was doing, but um, he actually gets on the third down conversion. And it's back to third and 20. It was third and 17, now third and 20, making sure that he does not get this pass out. And um, so it's now 4th and 20, and he is going for it. Um, I don't know why. Just pump the ball away. That's what I don't really get. I just Everyone goes for it on their, like, like he's on his own 26, and it's 4th and 20. Like, I mean, I guess I get if you're on your own. If you're, like, at the 50-yard line, you're, like, a couple, like, you know, whatever. I don't know, but whatever. We we get the turnover, and look at LeGarrette Blunt. Breaks about, like, Four, three tackles. That's why I got you, Legarrett. You're so strong. You're so you just truck everyone. Um. So yeah. Um. It's now third and seven, maybe third and seven, third and ten. Actually, my bad. But he's dropping back with his quarterback, I believe, Joe Flacco. And um. That was a quick gameplay, wasn't it? Um. Yeah. Expect another draft champions gameplay in a little bit. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.